Yes, sir. Good morning. Hey, how you doing this morning? Well, sir, it is a great day to be alive in the Lord. We call it a Fateful Friday because we're talking about the one who's faithful and true. And, of course, we have to congratulate you because you were recently, what, uh, received an award for your longevity in radio and the awesome job that you've done. of the faithful one talking about Jesus Christ and we celebrate him every single day why do we celebrate him because in him we have life and all things as apostle Peter writes in 2 Peter chapter 1 that in him grace and meet peace is multiplied to us in the knowledge of our God and our Savior Jesus Christ as he has uh, given unto us all things to pertain to both life and godliness through the knowledge of him who has called us to glory and virtue. In other words, he has called us to fruitful purpose in our design by God and to do it in excellence, to live life in excellence. What is a life lived in excellence? I believe it is a life that is constantly fulfilling and living in the purpose and design of God. And to do so, I believe that it's so important for us to live each day with a fresh and new perspective as we uh, wake up in the morning and as we take the journey of our day, day by day, that as we do so in the knowledge of God, and looking to him, as we run our race with patience, as is written in Hebrews chapter 12, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith. You ever think about why he is called the author and the finish of our faith, and we're told to look to him? I believe it is because we are on a journey, and every day is another step in our journey. The wisdom of the proverb says the life is as a just, of the just, is as a light that shines more and more under that perfect day. You see, friend, as those who have been justified by the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, his gift, his death, his life, his resurrection, and his endless advocacy for us now at the right hand of the Father, that we have been justified and uh, no shade can be cast on you and your life. The apostle Paul writes this in Romans chapter eight and verse one, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ. Uh, why does he tell us that? Because we're on a journey and that journey is not a journey where our light becomes dimmer and dimmer. But you know what, friend? Our light should grow stronger and stronger. You know why? Because our light is his light within us. You know, we sang that song, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Well, you know what? If you know that Jesus himself is the light, Jesus himself said in St. John 12, I am the light of the world. He that hath me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So what does all that mean? It sounds good, but what does it mean? It means that you and I should be more and more enlightened every day to the life and purpose and call that God has for us in every dimension of our life and existence, spiritually, mentally, 
emotionally, physically, financially, socially, that we're getting more and more light. One scripture says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, that he has put this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the glory may be of God and not of us. Do you know what? It is an excellent thing when God is glorified in every dimension of our lives and being. What does that look like? That him expressing himself as he had created in his own image and likeness, that we bear his image. We watch what he does and we do it. We follow him. We say what he says. And so we become his agents and expression of life because he lights us. Not only that, friend, because he is our light and salvation, we live without fear. As it says in Psalms 27, that he's the strength of our lives. We are not afraid, friend, today. Go in the strength and ability of God. Do it at, even as he works in you and enlightens you and causes you to be a light as he shines his light into your hearts, given the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ, we are transformed from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of God. I declare a new glory for you today, and not just today, but tomorrow and every day as you look to him. This has been an outreach of Connect Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond. We're blowing the gospel up, declaring to you together we're the difference. It makes a difference. So awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us. Mobilize his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this faithful Friday, P. Well, you said it, Pastor. You, you, you sure did. And uh, man, I thought you were going to break out with this little light of mine. Uh, <laughs> Yes, sir. Again, congratulations for your longevity in radio and still keeping us in the house with great gospel music and encouragement words all day long. Have a great day today. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye now, Pastor. All right. All right. Well, we go in the strength and ability of God today, knowing this, as the Apostle Paul uh, declared God's word to him, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. And he said, I'll glory in my weakness, that the power of God may rest upon me. What does that mean, friend? It just simply means that we look to him and we trust him, knowing that his strength is perfect when our strength comes to an end. The end of our strength is not the end of us, because God is bigger, he is greater as he works in our lives today. Trust him. Remember this. God loved himself some you. And we do too. You matter to God. And you matter to us. Have a, a, a great Friday.